Okay. This is me without makeup. I got out the shower and I put a little cream on my face. Just some body cream. Not a bad day for her. Fix it, sexy old woman. Fix it, shit, you little old woman. Not a bad day. You know, some days are better than others, but today is not a bad day at all. So I'm in a way. Today is my mom's birthday. I just gave her a shout out. I wished her a happy birthday. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go north, help my Aunt Geraldine, and then I'm going to uh, get out for a minute, take a break, and then I'm gonna go back north and help my Aunt Geraldine some more. And then my mom is working today. My mom, she refused to stop working. She said it's too easy. She working uh, PPX at St. Francis Hospital. So what I'm gonna do, when she get off at three o'clock, my sister plan on scooping my mom up and uh, we're gonna go eat at Red Lobster or Longhorn. If she changed her mind about Red Lobster, we had a bad experience at Longhorn the other day, but we're not gonna talk about that. So anyway, uh, Red Lobster was closed because of something going on. So what we decided to do is eat at Red Lobster if they're open. If they're not open, we may try Longhorn again. If not, she says she'll go to Soulfish. So that's the plan. We can make plans and God can have another whole plan, right? But that's our plan. And we'll see what God's plan is, right? All right. I was born in Brooklyn, New York. Yes, I was. Brooklyn. My mama was a bad woman. She was a bad gal back then. I said 77 years ago, she was born. But when she left the country and went to Brooklyn, she was bad to the bone. Bad to the bone. She wasn't scared of nothing. She was ready to go. Yes, feisty, weisty. Uh-huh. I think I get a little bit of that from her. That feisty weisty. Yeah. Yeah. She was bad to the bone. I'm in the goodwill on my mama's birthday. I'm in the dressing room, but I'm not trying to win a team. I came in here just to say I'm in the goodwill on my mama's birthday. I had this velveteen bitch meal. Top on, and then I, I'm carrying my um, my Gucci little clutch bag that I purchased from my cousin years ago, and I have some Chico jeans. I like the detail at the bottom. You know, I like to buy jeans that are different. I'm gonna buy some, so I like the detail at the bottom. Sorry for being on crooked on camera, and then I have. Uh, I'm in the, I'm in the dressing room, but I'm I'm not I'm not trying anything. Um, I have my uh, ox blood Doc Martens. So this is my my birthday outfit of the day for my mom's birthday. We're gonna go out to eat. So I was kind of selective on what I put on. Thank you, thank you. I'm in the car on the way to the party. Everybody on 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 the party. Dipping and dapping. Headed to my mama's birthday party. I think it's gonna be a party of three. My mom have two girls, right? Yours truly 
It's her first child. My mom was 20 years old when she had me. Now, I'm gonna try to find out during the birthday dinner. She really don't like talk about back then. From past experience, I remember her not really wanting to talk about back then. But I'm gonna try to find out. She was right after high school and she left home. So I'm thinking she was there for maybe a year or two before she got pregnant in Brooklyn. She went to, she told me the other day that she went to work at ABC Made Agency. So, ABC Made Agency sent her into her home and she was living there with the uh, Caucasians, you know, as a maid. Yeah. Somehow she met the man who fathered me. And, uh, Anyway, so after she got pregnant, she couldn't work for the agency anymore, right? So, I'm going to try to find out some more details. But, I was born in Brooklyn. And she did not tell her mom or anyone at home that she was pregnant. After she had me, she called her mom and told her she had a baby. So, my grandmama said, bring that baby home. So... So my grandmama said, bring that baby home. You know what she did, right? She took that baby home. She took that baby home. So she brought me back to Tennessee and she went back to New York. Now, I don't know. Maybe I can find out a little more detail on that. How long was it before you came back? But she said, I kept thinking about my baby and I couldn't just leave you with them. Couldn't just, I know you was home with family, but I kept thinking about my baby. I wanted to be so she said the man who fathered me, I'm just saying it like that because it is what it is. The man who fathered me thought she was getting ready to come to Memphis or come to Tennessee because they were living in East Tennessee. They thought she was getting ready to come to Tennessee and get me and do what he did. He thought she was getting ready to come to Tennessee, get me and go back. But she said she knew all the time she wasn't going back. Okay. So anyway. to this birthday party celebrate my mama because my mama didn't really have to be my mama you know she had other options I'm sure it may not have been readily available like today but if she had asked around enough she would have known other options could be considered yep my husband calling me my husband just called me worrying me about getting that room painted I tell you that man get something in his head and he won't let it go he calling me back we're in the goodwill I just stopped because I was trying to get him time to get to the restaurant we're going to Longhorn to eat for my mom's birthday so I'm in line as soon as I can get through this line uh, meet them. But I saw this little block, wood block that has four valences for candles. And it says the greatest work you will ever do will be within the walls of your own home. And I feel that. I feel that to the core. From, you know, what we went through last year. Anyway. Yes, Lord. Mm, not to toot myself, but everything starts in the home. I always felt that way. I always felt that way. We don't have children, but I always felt that way. And that's why I had a certain attitude about certain things, because it starts at home. Everything starts at home. Mm -hmm. The Lord first and foremost, but it starts at home. Your work starts at home. This is after dinner, after the birthday dinner. I'm back in the goodwill with, with mama this time. I had to take mama home. She picked her up. She picked her up after work and uh, I'm taking her 
back to her house. So we're at the Goodwill in Bartlett. I had shrimp, broccoli, and salad. This is my Michael Kors coat that I got from Nordstrom's Rack. Remember it? Yeah. Then I still got my same outfit, my Gucci clutch and my Doc Martens on. Uh, don't look at the stomach. I'm full. Wow, this is so weird. Look, I'm up. I'm up at 1.30 a.m. On this 10th day of January 2023. Eating. <laughs> greens. Leftover greens. Just some leftovers I had in the refrigerator. The shrimp in the... Uh, piece of baked potato is left over from <clears throat> Longhorn. Went to Longhorn for my mama's birthday. All of a sudden I was looking at some videos on YouTube with this lady cooking and I was like, I want something to eat. When I got home for my mama's birthday you uh, Longhorn dinner with my sister and my nephew and my mom. I was tired. For some reason, I was tired. I went to sleep. So I went to bed kind of early. So I think that's what, what's got me up now. So I sound funny because I just woke up. Then I got a little piece of cake. This cake is the bomb.com. I'm about to make sure it's okay with the lady. But the lady, my mama got the cake. My sister make a bomb pound cake now. And this cake got my sister's cake beat. This cake came from somebody my mom uh, got connected with. So I will be ordering another cake from her soon. I don't really supposed to eat cake like this, you know. So I'm going to have to wait till a special occasion. Maybe Valentine's Day I'll buy my mom one. Because she said that lady lived close to me. So I was like, okay. So, but it is the bomb pound cake. Yeah. All right, let me eat this, and then I'm going to try to sit up and not go right back to sleep. But I'm going to eat this, and then I'm going to look at YouTube a little bit more. And then I'm going to go to bed because I got to get up and go north. Got to be up at 6 and go north, and it's almost 2 o'clock. Yeah, that's what I'm eating. Late night snack, like a little rat, like a little fat rat. That's what I'm acting like. <laughs> but that shrimp was good today. And I didn't have a potato. A long horn. That's my uh my sister's baked potato. A piece of her baked potato. She gave she didn't you know, she had almost a whole potato left. Some of it's still in the refrigerator. But anyway, yeah. But those are my greens. Yes, ma'am.